Hello everyone and welcome back to Congress and Interview Preparation Series Part One. So if you are preparing for Congress and not just brushing up your Java fundamentals, then this series is made exactly for you. Because I recently appeared for an interview at Congress and, and based on my experience, uh, I have carefully created this series to cover everything you need to know. In this video, I will walk you through Java theory, OOPs concept, and essential coding questions. and the best part is that i have attached the pdf in the descriptions which is absolutely free of cost no sign up no forms just download it and start preparing so without wasting any more time let's start the video so let's start with the java theory questions i have divided this into three levels like basic intermediate and advanced so no matter what stage you are at you can begin with the right intensity so basic level includes concept like jdk jre jvm so basically foundational concept i added in this level second is intermediate level which is focuses on constructors static keywords access modifiers exceptional handling lambda expressions and more these are commonly asked during the interviews and last is advanced level which is focuses on multi threading thread life cycle synchronization collection and even deadlock scenarios So these questions are not just theoretical. Cognizant interviewers often ask for real life examples or your own explanations. So don't just memorize the definitions. Next came the most important topic in Java, which is object oriented programming. So trust me, if you skip these questions, you are skipping the very heart of Java interviews. From the four main pillars like abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, and polymorphism, to real life implementation based questions like. how would you implement abstraction using interfaces or what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding with examples so these are the exact questions kind of questions asked in during the interviews so don't memorize it instead of try to explain each concept in your own words that's the best way to prepare for any object oriented programming interview rounds now came the most important part which is coding questions cognizant and definitely checks your logic and problem solving abilities In this PDF I have added questions from different categories like array string loops patterns logic based problems and more some examples include reverse a number check if a string is palindrome find the largest elements in array and other fundamental coding task these are a perfect to test whether you are actually interview ready or just reading theory once you have done with java theory and oops concept try solving these problems without looking at the solutions because that's where the real learning begins Here's my simple advice based on my personal experience make sure your basic programming concepts are clear clear practice coding daily consistency matters more than speed third is before your interview revise smart go through java theory oops concept and solve core logic problems stick to this routine and trust the process because the more you practice the more confident you feel and you are closer than you think Uh, keep going and that's a wrap up of part 1 of cognizant interview preparation series i hope this video made you preparation easier and clear your some doubts if you found this video helpful leave a comment below and tell me which part help you the most and don't forget to share this video with your friends who are preparing for cognizant interviews or any other it related roles also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming uh, parts of this series and yes you can download the free pdf from this description below see you in the next video until then keep learning and keep growing